Greetings streamers, today we're going to talk about uh, why you cannot add or find certain apps on your Google Play on your Android TV, but before please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notifications and don't forget to give us a like if you do enjoy this video. Now, let's go to the Play Store and check out, for instance, an app that we know that it's not available, but before doing so, you need to pay attention to your Android TV or your device and look specifically for the operating system or the OS on which it is running. For instance, our Xiaomi My Box is running on the Android version 9 or Android TV version 9 and that's very important because whenever you try to install a third-party app that it's not available from the Google Play Store, you need to be sure that it is compatible with the latest version on your Android TV device. Otherwise, you might either uh, corrupt the OS or you might damage your uh, device. So take that into account before installing any third-party app that it's not available on the Google Play Store. And that means that if it's not available, it's because it's not optimized for your Android TV. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that later. Let's look for IMDB TV, which is an app that we have seen in our Amazon Fire Stick and on our smartphone, but it's not available yet on the Android TV. And that is because for some reason the developer of the content hasn't developed a version that is optimized for Android TV devices. It doesn't mean that you cannot install it. Yes, you can download the APK and you can run it on your Android TV, but it will not be as optimized or as smooth as if you were using it, for instance, here on your smartphone. You can see that we do have the IMDB TV app available on the smartphone. It's Android based, but it's not available on the Google Play Store for Android TV and it's because it's not optimized for Android TV. Remember that on your smartphone you use your, your touch screen for setting or choosing options. On the Android TV you're using a controller, so the interface might be a little bit different. Also verify that if you're going to install a third party app, make sure that the information available tells you which is the latest version and if it's compatible with the OS that you have on your Android TV. Otherwise, you might end up damaging the OS on your device or corrupting the system. So be very aware of that before installing any third-party apps. So let's go and install it. We're going to show you how you can do so. And we're going to use the downloader app, which we have used previously. We made a video about how to enable the browser on the downloader app so make sure that you check it out because it's very useful uh, if you have the direct link for download downloading the APK you just type it in on the URL search term or box or you can use the browser either way uh, I prefer the direct link because it's easier it doesn't require me to click a lot and some websites do have uh, you know like pop-ups and so on and it makes the download downloading experience a little bit slower so usually go for that directly it's the best way and it makes sure that you are not downloading any APK that it's uh, infected with a virus or something so let's just go and look for the address that we're going to type in for the direct download of the IMDB TV app and we're going to show you that we can download it into our Android TV device, in this case a Xiaomi My Box, but still we cannot, we can run it, but it's not as smooth as if it will be on the smartphone. I'm not going to play the app, I'm just going to show you that you can install it, and I'm also going to show you what happens when you download apps that are not optimized for Android TV, but we'll talk about it later. So again, uh, type in the address of the app that you want to download, and when you're ready, you will be able to install it. Remember, again, very important, very, very, very important. Make sure that the device, the, the app you're, sorry, the, the app that you're downloading is compatible with the OS version of your Android TV. I'm telling you this repeatedly because a lot of people will just download stuff without verifying. And when they try to run it, they usually damage their uh, OS. It happens a lot with people and then try to install the Google Play app on Amazon Fire devices. It's not compatible because the Amazon Fire OS, it's Android based, but it doesn't have all the features required to run the Google Play Store. 
and I have seen so many cases of people damaging their uh, Amazon Fire devices because of this. We don't want you to do it here with your Android TV, so pay attention. So yes, you just hit the install option. It will install on the device. Remember, it's an Android TV, so it's Android based. And also the app is Android uh, designed, but it's not Android TV compatible or fully optimized. So do remember that. So we hit done and we will delete the file so it doesn't keep space from our Android TV uh, storage capacity because we do not have that much. Verify again here the version of the APK that, that you downloaded and make sure that it's compatible. That's very important. I'm making a lot of emphasis on this because a lot of people do not pay attention and when they damage their devices, they want someone else to fix it. Avoid getting to that point. So now let's go and try to find the APK. IMDB TV and you can see it's not available on the menu or the main menu and it's because it's not an Android TV optimized app. So you will not find it there. So this is what I was telling you. Sometimes you can download and install third party apps but because they are not Android TV optimized or oriented, you will not find them on the main menu of your Android TV. It doesn't mean that it's not there. It's there, but it's only available, <coughs> sorry, as a system app. So we have to go and look for it somewhere else. And this might be a little bit annoying because usually when you're using your Android TV, you want to find your apps right there on the home screen. But if it's not Android TV optimized, it will not work. So that's something that I was going to do telling you before on the video and it's very important so let's go to settings and let's look for apps and you will notice when we hit see all apps including the system apps imdb tv should be there and there it is so it's not optimized for your android tv so it will not pop up on the main menu so you have to access it all always from this point so we hope you guys and girls enjoy this video please follow us on twitter and on facebook i'm sorry we are under Streaming Army. Don't forget to subscribe and give us a like. Thanks for watching and happy streaming. Goodbye.